Video games. What can be said about video games? You love them, you hate them, and sometimes you make a news show about them where the name of the show changes every week and everybody gets frustrated. Hello and welcome to You Have to Wake Up, You're in a Coma. The show where they want to pull the plug. Please give me any sign that you're still here. You don't have much time. I'm Lyle McDouchebag with Destructoid, and this is a video game news show for August 10th, 2017, a date of no particular significance. Are you a fan? Fan of Person 5? How about Person 3? As a sequel to Person 4 Dancing, there is now Person 3 Dancing and Person 5 Dancing. If you've ever wanted to see your favorite person people dance, now is your chance. Personally, I'd recommend Person 5. There's two more people in it and I'm nothing if not a people person. No Man's Sky is getting an update. The expansion titled Atlas Rises adds fast traveling through portals as well as the vague promise of story improvements. The full details will be released when the expansion launches, so rejoice if you have buyer's remorse-induced Stockholm Syndrome. You now have something to crawl back to. Abuse is cyclical, and if you need help, please type a comment about how No Man's Sky wasn't that bad down below. Sonic Mania is getting a competitive multiplayer mode. If you were a kid in the 80s or 90s and grew up with classic Sonic, this is probably something that you've exactly fantasized about. They're making a Fallout board game. If I wanted to be bored playing a Fallout game, I'd just play Fallout 4. Oh! Oh, fuck! Oh, listen to those air horns! Those are, those are a lot of air horns! That's extremely irritating! I only included this story to make that joke. I am neither proud nor sorry. Valve is making a Dota card game called Artifact that nobody asked for. They've released a CGI title trailer that shows you nothing, but based on the other 68 of these games that release by daily it's pretty safe to assume that we know exactly what it'll look like. AM2R was a critically acclaimed fan remake of Metroid 2. If you know anything about how staunchly Nintendo enforces their trademarks, especially in regards to fan projects, you probably know how that panned out. But don't worry, the developer of AM2R is now on the moon. Hold on, I definitely read that wrong. The developer from AM2R has been hired at Moon Studios. Okay, so they'll be they'll be doing level design on Ori and the Will of the Wisps. Cool. Moving on. Uh, Middle Earth Shadow of War is getting... Middle Earth Shadow of War is getting loot boxes. Do these fucking things need to pop up? <sighs> oh my god. Okay, so... It's a single player game where you can buy boxes that give you randomized in-game items and you can use in-game money, which I'm sure will be intentionally designed to take a frustrating amount of time to accrue, or you can spend real world money. That way, instead of being a second job that you don't get paid for, the game can simply be a gambling simulator where you can't actually win anything of real world value. Also, apparently there's an online multiplayer aspect of Shadow of War that's previously never been mentioned or shown, and apparently does not involve players actually physically interacting with each other because that's a lot harder to code, and instead just has them assaulting each other's fortresses. Which means if you don't play into the system, somebody who does will probably come in and wreck your shit. I'm sure that this was not a tacked on feature to tempt perspectiveless children into stealing their parents' credit cards and developing an early gambling addiction, and instead will be a meaningful experience enhancing addition to the game. <laughs> Remember when we were saying that these things were art? Oh man. I'm Lyle McDouchebag, this has been a thing, we will name it next week. They've let me get away with this for far too long. As always, if you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments. Even if we don't use one of them, it's good to get a general vibe of what kind of thing resonates with you guys. Ugh, that was way too genuine. I'm, I'm gonna leave and throw up now, bye.